My name is Saoirse Mackin and I'm a final year drama student at Queen's University. Like many of you, as a prospective student, I was apprehensive about coming to university. Would I be able to cope with the course? Would I be seen as another student or someone different? What support would I be given and would I be able to make friends? We are going to meet some other students with disabilities who have attended Queen's University to find out their life experiences at university and what support they were given. Living away from home could be a daunting experience for most students, but this is even more so the case for students with disabilities. Mary Elaine McCabot, who's now in her final year in psychology, describes how she's been able to access all elements of the university with the right support in place. I suppose I was concerned about um, how I would manage um, moving away from home and how I would manage on my own without the support of my family. Um, and then I was concerned, I suppose, um, what all students would be concerned about and that was making friends and getting used to uni and the uni work. Before I came here I had a meeting with disability services and they were able to tell me what help was available. I have a carer who comes in in the mornings for things like breakfast and dinner, but then here in Elms, um, if I have any trouble um, or if I lock myself in my room, I can just go down to them and, and they'll help me out. Basically because this here is so accessible and so suited to me, all the help that I've been given here and all the support that I get um, is essential um, because Basically, I need it just to, you know, to get through each day. Just being able to, to come here and to meet the people that I've met and to make the friends that I've made and um, get a degree is, is like why I came here. So um, so the whole thing, generally, I just have loved it. So um, it's all been brilliant. Jim Moore has returned to Queen's as a mature student. As a student with a visual impairment, he faced a significant personal challenge with being able to find his way around the campus. Jim also requires his course materials to be provided in an alternative format in order to read them. For Jim, returning to education was a positive experience. He feels that with the right support, he has not felt the impact of his disability. As, uh, as an engineering student back in the 60s, there was absolutely no formal support that I survived because of the goodwill of the lecturers and fellow students. Of course when I came to Queen's and met my friends who said I should go for it, I knew by then there was a system of support for people with disabilities. Well when I came to, uh, to the school and met the disability officer, the support he provided me with came in two sections. First of all there was equipment uh, and another more important or equally important aspect of the support was the practical help. Available to me was a note taker, a library assistant, a scribe for my exams and uh, I would also get uh, word processing support. From the point of view of equipment and personal support, practical help, uh, it was quite extensive. An essential element of the support that students such as Jim receive at Queen's is provided by the School Disability Advisor. Their relationship with disability services and students with disabilities is a major factor in ensuring that they provide adequate support requirements on a day-to-day -day basis. Dr John Kern has been disability advisor for several years. He has seen his role develop and sees the importance of a good working relationship between the school, students and the disability service. When I began as a disability advisor 10 years ago, um, it was one of those small, important jobs that uh, the department offered. But 10 years on, it has changed beyond all recognition. Now it's a major task in what the school provides. We now look after you know, things like accommodating students or supporting them in their studies, but there's now much greater acceptance, understanding that uh, students with disabilities are an integral part of our uh, community in this school. Um, and the other way in which the role has changed is that uh, at the outset, um, I was you know, very um, slender in my knowledge of things, but now I'm a bit more informed and one of my important roles is to explain to my colleagues what kind of issues can arise and also to ensure for my colleagues ongoing um, uh, education about the various disabilities that we're now coming across. Lorraine 
Boyd completed her degree in 2004 in sociology at Queen's University and has since gone on to further employment. She values higher education and helping people with disabilities progress in their careers. She's now policy coordinator for the Vital Links Initiative at the Northern Ireland Council for Voluntary Action and describes how the support that she was given helped aid her through her academic years. I had been working within the field of social care and as an unqualified worker I had taken myself as far as I possibly could. I gathered a lot of experience um, actually at the grassroots delivering um, services but for me to take that wee bit further to go on now maybe into some sort of like development of programmes I would really need to take myself into the third level to get myself into employment. It was something that I had always wanted to try and do because it would have done my confidence the world a good to have third level qualification. Uh, being dyslexic and um, accessing disability services I also would have had a disabled advisor within the school and she was fantastic in that not only did she give me advice on how to handle being dyslexic and my work but she also gave me advice on career development or where she thought maybe I could progress with the experience and knowledge that I had as a mature student and what pathways would be open to me and then I finished with the first class honours. I've left with Queen's maybe with affirmation for myself, confidence for myself that yes I, I, I'm not the smartest person in the block, but I'm not bad either, that I can, can continue on, on with that too. The experiences of those in this video demonstrate the positive impact of the disability service in supporting students at Queen's over the past 10 years. Disability should never be seen as a barrier to education, and we hope that if you're watching this as a prospective student with a disability, you will feel that with the right support, you can succeed in education. Mm -hmm.